The Wizard That Destroyed the World by Chaos Wizard How I Shattered the Ice Prince's Heart, Part 2 Everyone stood staring wide-mouthed in the heart of the Ice Kingdom, all except the Ice Prince, who just smirked. So, who wants to go next? he asked. Everyone just continued to stare, unnerving, at the now-frozen rock prince. "'I'll go next,' I said. I went up to the ice heart, turning my hands into kitty paws, and touched it. Because the kitty paws were so warm, the ice didn't freeze me. But it was so cold and uncomfortable. I turned towards the prince, who had a scowl placed on his delicate face. I thought he would smile. Or praise me. Say something snarky, at least. But alas, he just turned his head and said, Okay, who wants to go next? I'll go next. I, the Princess of the Fire Kingdom. The Princess of the Fire Kingdom stepped up to the ice heart. She clutched it with her bare hands. See, no mere ice clump will... However, the ice began to climb up the fire prince's pink arm. Her eyes widened. Ah! She hissed, lighting up her fire. She used all her focus to keep it lit. Her fire hair became damp, and she began shivering. The ice continued to climb until it was up to her elbow. The fire princess, in one swift movement, cut off her iced arm. The ice heart falling to the floor her severed arm still holding it. The ice prince stared at the arm unblinkingly, as if examining some royal paper or something, before continuing on. Your Highness of the Trees, would you like to try next? Ugh, what about my arm? yelled the fire princess. What about it? said the ice prince coldly. You can pry it from the ice heart if you want, but I wouldn't try it. The fire princess fixed him with a fiery glare. What? You get to move on to the next round. That's all that matters, right? I will prove that I am fit to be on the throne of this barren wasteland of ice, said the highness of the trees. They walked up to the ice heart laying on the ground, breaking the fingers off of it before picking it up. But what the Ice Prince and the Fire Princess didn't know at the time was that the firstborn royal of the Tree Kingdom had not touched the Ice Heart with their hands, but had grown tree branches and was touching it with the hidden branches on their hands. That cheater! I wish I thought of that. You can drop the ice heart, said the ice prince. You three will make it to the next round. Thank you for listening to The Wizard That Destroyed the World. If you want to keep up with The Wizard That Destroyed the World, follow the Discord in the link below. See you all Saturday on The Witching Hour.